Hey guys, um, my name is Jordan. I'm a second year. I just wanted to make a quick little video to try and help explain acid-base balance. So if you're a visual learner, hopefully this will help. Um, and my daughter's here eating dinner, so she's going to attempt to be quiet. Can you say hi, Nova? Hi. <laughs> she's going to attempt to be quiet, so hopefully this works out. Okay, so... Sorry, my cat. Get out of here. Okay, so I made this little scale thing. Okay, so this is our acid side. This is our CO2, respiratory. We breathe off CO2. If we don't breathe it off and we retain it, it's acid. We go acidotic, okay? Normal acid, 35 to 45. CO2, 35 to 45. Bicarb, this is your metabolic, okay? Baking soda, bicarbonate, HCO3. This is your bicarb. This is your alkaline, alkalosis. Normal, 22 to 26, okay? Normal pH where we want the body... 7.35 to 7.45. Okay, we get more acid, it goes that way. We get more base, it goes that way. All right, so I'm just gonna represent it by these little marbles. Clear marbles are metabolic, are baking soda. Blue marbles are the lemon juice, they're the acid, okay? So, hang on, let me try and prop this up here. Hopefully this will work. Okay, so, say you have a condition like COPD. Okay, with COPD, they retain their CO2. They don't breathe it off as much. So because they're retaining that CO2, it's acid. All right, so we're getting more and more and more acid because we're not breathing off our CO2. Okay, so it's pointing. This would be low. It'd be like 7.28 you know, or something. You know, it's pointing low to the acid side. You know, low number is acid. Okay, so you know that if it were to go the other way, it would be alkaline, but... Okay, so low number is acid, high number is alkaline. So this number here would be higher, right? We got more blue marbles. This would be like, you know, 50 or, you know, 55 or something. You would see it higher than 45. All right, so that we know if we see that, then we have, because it's our CO2, right? So CO2, respiratory acidosis. Okay, now say it was the other end of the spectrum and you see you see a high pH, 7.5 or something like that, and your HCO3 is like 30, 28. Well, then now you know you have metabolic alkalosis, right? So you have more bicarb, you have alkaline pH, metabolic, respiratory, metabolic. All right, so that would just be your basic uncompensated. It'll be really clear if it's uncompensated because one number will be out of whack. like. So you have, um, you have respiratory acidosis. This is gonna be out of whack. This will be like 50 and this will be normal. It'll be like 23. So now you know you have respiratory acidosis and that would be uncompensated because the alkaline is normal. So say, let's go ahead and say we have a, oops. Say we have a COPD patient. They are 7.3 with a 50 um, CO2, okay? So right now, because our, our HCO3 is normal, this is uncompensated respiratory acidosis, all right? Well, if they start compensating, what that means is their body is trying to balance this. Like, we know this is high, so we're gonna try and throw more bicarb to neutralize the acid, all right? So what you would see is that there's more bicarb coming. So say it's like, here, right? There's more bicarb. Say this is now like 28, right? So this is out of whack. This is 50. This is also out of whack. It's like 28, but we're still on the acid side. Like say it's still 7.31, right? We're still in acid acidosis. So this is partially compensated. All right. Well, say this is even higher out of whack, but now it's balanced. All right. So this is 30. This is 50 but our pH is normal, say our pH is 7.4 now. So our pH is normal, these are both wrong, they're outside of normal, but our pH is balanced. So this means it's fully compensated. So our bicarb has compensated for our acidosis because these, these numbers are, are not what we want, but the pH is what we want. Um, so I hope that helps, let me know if you have questions.